is funny. Oh, is about to lose here. Are you watching? Uh, I am. I'm riveted. I'm riveted. <laughs> like, when are you taking the show to Wimbledon? <laughs> he's, he's in trouble in his books. I know, but we had uh, like, uh, those three things. The 96 Yankees, the 94 Rangers, and I uh, with the Knicks. And I, I, you made a good point. I had forgotten about the 90 Giants. That, that deserves to be there, too. And I, that, that Joanne Farkas thing was very – people don't realize. It was. That, was that dog day point. afternoon was, was hilarious. And, and, and it really was funny. It was – and you know, watching this as we as honestly, and you know, I, I'm sure when you think about it today, and you see all the stuff, uh, and, and listen, you know, all the stuff. When you see all the pictures, and you see all the stories, you know, it, it, it always shows Mike and the Mad Dog, and, and I miss, it. and obviously, uh, you know, the many other people who were a very big part of what's happened here over 25 years. But you know, when you think about it, and think about uh, your role in this, you know, you deserve a tremendous amount. I mean, you were an enormous part of this station's success, and you that will never, ever change. And, you know, this is always, always home to you and always will be. Well, I appreciate that, Mike. I really do. I mean, I, I, mean, I think, um, I thought I was coming here in 80. I wasn't there yet, but I think I was getting that better about the way than a tiebreak. Uh, I think... Don't talk about I think, uh, uh, I, I think I was getting there. I, you probably have addressed it today. I, I didn't no, Don's think, coming up at five. Yeah, uh, which is, I think him getting there in 80 was huge in October, and I think the switch over to 662. Uh, yes. I know Joe Honda mentioned that. I think from a station perspective, you were there before me, so I wasn't there yet, but I thought those two things, no question. I missed in October of 88, and, and listen, give Boomer and Carton a lot of credit. I know you're on here today. They've done a tremendous they've job. Done a very, they've done a, done a terrific I'm job. I'm not this, trying to downplay anybody, but I mean... No, they've done a, they've done a terrific job in, in a, and had big shoes to fill. They've done a wonderful job in doing fair. that. But, you know, the thing was... The turn right in the beginning from changing the station to 660, inheriting Don there, and then having Mike and the Mad Dog take off. And as you and I know, after, and what really I think helped enormously, Dog, was, you know, that first two or three months, and we talked about Dog Date making a big difference, it did, but when you and I weren't dumb, when we saw by the spring that we were number one, we realized that we were onto something big, and I mean, all of a sudden, you know, our lives changed dramatically that first year. I mean, you, you remember what it was like. I mean, you and I went through a time where, you know, it, it was amazing. I mean, it was crazy how big things got so fast. Well, you gotta remember one thing, too. Both of us wanted to do solo shows. Yep. Uh, and so, uh, we all thought we, I can do it, Mike can do it, and so until you saw the success of the duet show, you always had that doubt in your mind, you know, I can do it better without him, he can do it better without me, you always had that little doubt in your mind, and I think you're right, I think the first time the fans sort of acknowledged the fact that they like what they were hearing, it gave us, you know what, we're making money, let's not moan and groan about this, let's make it as good as we possibly can, but you got to have the teams too, you know that, you got to have the teams be successful. And you and I know with the ratings, when the teams are good in your town doing these shows, it's going to help the local sports talk. And we were fortunate. We had the great Yankees in 96. The Mets were pretty decent when we first started. We had the Giants, you know, obviously won a Super Bowl. And then the Rangers won a Stanley Cup, and Roddy came with the Knicks. Yeah. So you put all that together, you had a large, you know, the New York sports scene in that period, with you and I right in the middle of it, was a huge factor in our growth. It, it did, started. and we caught it at the right time. I mean, there was so much growth at that time. And listen, I mean, the sports keep growing. I mean, look, look at all the syndication, look at all the other networks, look at Sirius, look at everything out there. There's so much, there's so much there that wasn't there when you and I started. I mean, we pretty much had the first 10 years to ourselves. I mean, we, it, was, it was, you know, pretty much you and me, and that was it. I mean, no, no, con no, no competition. Yeah, none. I mean, no it was just you. We had everything to ourselves. You know, it was just you and me. That was it. I mean, we did whatever we wanted. And we we had everything. Where, 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 and became the place to go because you had all the games up. Absolutely. And, and, you know, and, and we were it. I mean, you remember, I tell people this, I think they think I'm crazy. We went to Super Bowls when Dog and I were the only ones there. I mean, we, there. We're Eddie, the only Eddie ones Eddie there. Any other man may have gone to one of those. Maybe. Maybe. Did Eddie Edelman go to? I, I, I think the first year was just that guy behind us who was in Eddie New Orleans. Orleans. Remember that one guy? I was do. it just in I, New Orleans? I, I do. And that was when uh, Bradshaw came on that first year and killed Elway. Yes. You remember that? He came yes. on our show. He killed Elway. And I don't want to say that I always told that story because at the time that Madden took you and me to his hotel right. to show us how in the world San Francisco could not possibly couldn't lose. lose this game. Remember Holmgren? They couldn't lose. They wouldn't. It's impossible. They, and the 55-10, yes. he was showing that Louis Wright can't guard him. Yep. His place, his tailor, he's going to go boom, bam, bam. There's no way they can 
wasn't this case. I mean, it turned out to be. So we we were fortunate that we were the first one, and we had all the good guests. I mean, a lot of you. Who was your favorite? Guest? Who was your favorite guest? I'll tell you. I was just thinking about it, and I I have not had him on. Uh, I tried to get him on this week. He won't do it. I, I think Riley in a lot. Riley of has never forgiven us. You know that I told you that story that I was out vacationing with Roe in California, right, right, California, and I sat with him, and he told me how hurt he was that you and I didn't stick by him when he when well, he. he was I know, when we told him that, but he said he, could, he couldn't get past it. He even told me that day at the pool he couldn't get past it. Yeah. And that was four years later. Uh, I think Riley was, he was good to him. And George Young, too. Uh, George, Young George Young was a great spot. Yeah, he, he was a fun spot. I always think of George Young. Someone asked me the other day, who was the one guy we always wanted and couldn't get? And even, uh, I got asked that this morning by Carton when I was on with those guys. DiMaggio, I always thought, was the guy we tried the hardest to get, which we never could get. We could not get him to the uh, Mantle we got. We got Mantle a couple of times. Mantle, Mantle, we got Ted Williams. We just never got Joe D. Yeah, and I, you know, Richard, you made a good point about Richard here. He has been underrated in so He has. He's been, a, he's been a guy who's been a real cog the whole time. He, 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 really, he doesn't it, get enough credit. But, but you're right. Uh, DiMaggio is the guy that we 